Okay, the name of this video is called Sylvania 220 Tube Tester. This is a composite transconduction emissions tester. That's what their marketing calls it. It's a dynamic emissions tube tester like the Simpson 1000, Jackson 648, Precision 920, Eichel 666, or the Hickok 230. So I'm going to turn it on. One, two, three, four. It's going to raise the meter up. So I'm on the fourth click, and it's right on the money almost. That means it's calibrated with R6 is the the potentiometer under here. Actually, that's it on the fourth click. That adjusts this one. If if you push the shards test and it bears it, the R15 is a potentiometer fat, so that means it's calibrated. It's in the instructions. So I got a tube in there. The first test, I got the switches set from A to E from A to E already. So I got it set. We're going to do a quick filament test. And it's good, so that passes that test. Now I'm on one. You push you, this switch G adjust it for the shards test, which so we're on one. So now I'm going to do a, a cathode test. I, cathode is the third pin. I'm going to do a cathode test. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. I push both of them. I push the shards test and this, and see how it, you can probably see where the meters packed. That that's telling me that the cathode that it has no cathode leakage from to, to the filament. So, okay, the next one is a tube quality check. So we go from, we set two, which is on there, two and T, and then we'll just do a tube test real quick. See, and it's passing good. Now for a gas test, I'm going to try to do it again. I'll push down and it should go the other way. See how the meter's going on the other side? So that's the gas test. I'm going to take these off. We're back where we're at. It'll also, it's got, like the Hickox, it's got a, no, a socket for two noise tests and that. So it basically does, you know, it, it, it checks for shards, filament continuity, cathode leakage. It's got a gas tester and a tube quality test. And I could set it up again to check a double trout. This is pretty good for preamp tubes. It does a way better job than my B&K 500 because it tests the, the tubes in parallel and stay, you know test both sides of the tryout. So this is good for this. You could match tubes with it with a like a double trial like these 12 AX7. It is pretty good at finding sharding tubes. I haven't been able to get it to find noisy tubes because I can't get this to work, the noise thing. You know, and the only thing I had to do to this other than calibrate was replace one capacitor which is connected to this. So this is a pretty decent tube tester. Uh, you know, it's real rugged. It's in good shape because it, the can is it's like in a steel can to protect the, the instrument and it's it's a decent tube tester.